Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to just grab some free animations you can get on Mixamo and retargeting it to the game anim sample. Here's a little quick example of a guy who's supposed to be holding a sword and shield. I haven't actually attached it to him yet, but as you can see, it's the beginning of something new. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just head over to Mixamo.com and in this tutorial, I'm just going to look for the sword and shield pack. And you'll see that this one comes with 51 animations. And when I click on it, I'm just gonna let it load. And now once it's loaded, you'll see that there's a ton of frames. This is just because it's all 51 animations. I'm gonna hit this download and just select frames to be 60 per second and hit download. And now I'm just gonna open up that zip and extract all. And now once this is extracted, I can just highlight, actually what I'm gonna do first is just import my Xbot FPX. And I'll just place them, uh, let's say in the content folder, you can probably organize this a bit better and I'll hit import all like so. So this is just gonna import the skeleton. And now once the skeleton's imported, I'm gonna select all the animations and just drag this in. And I'm gonna make sure that the skeleton Xbox skeleton is selected, which is why we imported it first. And now you're gonna see all these importing FBX stuff show up like so. And once that's done importing, I'm just gonna select all my animation sequences like so, and then I'll right click and hover over retarget animations. And now for this target skeletal mesh, I'm gonna look for the UEFN mannequin. And now this is important, make sure you select everything you want to retarget. But we can also, we can also double click to make sure these are working. So for example, if I click this sword shield block idle, the pose will look like this, casting a spell, crouching, crouch block, uh, sh a kick, and so on. So I'll just select all of these and hit export animation. And I'll just export it to this folder and have a prefix of MM underscore in front of it, just to, um, I guess it stands for motion matching in this case, and hit export. And now once that's done, all my animations are just labeled out here. And I can just go ahead to my CBP sandbox character, double click to open this up. Actually, I'll, I'll double click to open up the ABP sandbox character. And now, in my anim graph, I can double click my, I can double click my anim graph to just open this up. I'm going to make some space between the slot default slot and my offset root bone. And as you can see, I added a layer blend per bone. And when I hover over this, I added in blend mode branch filter, I just added an item here under branch filters, and you can set the bone name to whatever you want. You'll see that for example, when I hit compile, everything over spine three is not animating. So if I were to change this something like clavicle underscore L and then hit compile, you're going to see that everything is animating properly except for my left arm now. And depending on what animation you want to test this out with, um, you can feel free to do whichever. So I'll just do spine underscore three, hit compile, and you'll see that now my legs are animating, but not my upper body that much. And let's just go over to the default level and drag a random animation in. So I'll just select this sword shield idle and hit compile. And now when I play, you'll see that my motion matching character is now using that retargeted animation, like so. It looks a little odd because he doesn't have a sword or shield, so we can go ahead and add that in real quick. So I'm just gonna head over to the Sinti store and just download some free asset. Uh, they have these really cool glowing weapons uh, called the Pride Weapons, and you can check that out in my affiliate link in the description below. Um, just know that there are quite a few free assets, as you can see here and just a ton of options that you can play around with and important to your game animation sample to test it out. So once this is imported, I'm gonna just head over to my Cinti folder, uh, look for the meshes. So I'll just grab this, um, let's say, SM underscore weapon sword, go over to my CVP sandbox character, double click to open this up. And then in my mesh, I'm gonna click add and I'm just gonna look for a static mesh and I'll call this sword and make sure it's parented to your mesh or else this is not gonna work. And now I will just look for this SM underscore sword mesh. And I want to parent this to a bone. So in this case, I'm going to do hand underscore L, actually hand underscore R, like so. And then I can also adjust this, this mesh accordingly. I'm just going to uncheck these just so I can smoothly add this to my character's weapon, like so. And I'll go ahead and just duplicate this and actually just parent this to his other hand. So I'll do hand underscore L, and it's supposed to be a shield, but it's totally whatever. And he's just holding two massive swords, and I'll reduce the size a little bit. Now when I just hit compile and save um, and hit play, you can see now my motion matching character is holding two swords. You can see that my character now is holding two swords. He looks super cool, and he has a lot of swag when he turns. 
very exaggerated and that's probably because we're starting from spine three and yeah that's an easy way to just get free animations from mixamo over to your over to your motion matching sample project and yeah thanks for watching code is row like subscribe comment below what you want to see next and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching